Hello, welcome back again to Multiword Verb English Professional Professional English One. As you know, my name is Marco Mesa. Okay, uh, we are going to work with uh, phrasal verbs, trying to understand what they are, the different types, and some uh, of the names, and also exercises. Phrasal verbs are combinations of verb and preposition, look for, okay? Most of the time, the phrasal verb resulting with this combination has a different meaning than the original one. Look will have a meaning of parecer in Spanish, and look for will have a meaning of buscar, okay? I will try not to translate into Spanish because um, it's not a very good practice. So try to, if necessary, try to look for them in a dictionary. Again, take over. Take over will have various meanings. Take will have take over is to um, have a complete, a full dominion of something, as in the picture over the world, to take over the world, okay. We also can construct phrasal verbs using verb, adverb, and preposition. Get out of, to leave some place. And most of the time, phrasal verbs will have a different meaning than the original verb. Okay, sometimes they are very confusing and people who don't have uh, a native origin probably will, have, will need to look for them in dictionaries, to search the meaning in dictionaries. Okay, everywhere you will find in common English phrasal verbs. And if you cannot, try to guess the meaning using the context of the text around them. Sometimes the context will give us the meaning will help us to guess the meaning. Um, and most of the time, unfortunately, or luckily, it depends of the optic, it is also necessary to look for the meaning in a dictionary. If no dictionary at hand, you can use internet or whatever possible to uh, understand the meaning of um, phrasal verbs. Sometimes they are called compound verbs. They are also called verb adverb combinations, verb particle constructions, two part word verbs, or three part word verbs. In some cases, they say multi part word verbs. When are they used? Phrasal verbs are normally used in informal speech. Some writing pieces that are used for common purposes, newspapers, magazines, um, informal magazines, common magazines, and um, you can find lots of multi word verbs in newspapers. Okay? Also, when some everyday things are used in academic writing, okay, not very often, and sometimes they are quoted with um, exclamation, uh, sorry, uh, quotation marks. Some examples are run across, for example, Mrs. John ran across the road not to miss her bus, okay? Another example is going to be look after. Most female mammals look after the cubs for at least a year. That means that the mother is watching carefully, is uh, feeding and whatever is needed to keep the cubs alive. That, that is the meaning of look after. The patient passed away after a long agony. Okay, passed away means to cease living. Okay, to finish living. All rioters will run away when the police will arrive. Run away means escape. 
again run across, has Jonas run across the football field, but in an um, interrogative context, remember, we use um, the auxiliary has before the subject in present perfect sentences. Is looking after calves one of the instinctive actions mammals have? Again, we have looking after, but in the context of interrogative sentence. How long ago did the former president pass away? Again, we have an interrogative sentence with a question word, how long ago? And pass away as the multi word verb or phrasal verb. After breaking jail, do they plan running away to an island in the Caribbean Sea? Actually, we have two. Breaking jail means escaping from jail. Running away means also escaping. Let's do some exercises, not so, so calmly. Try to be fast, please. Can you? And we need to choose from four options. Point on, point two, point four, point away. The correct answer is point two, and that means uh, indicate who is or indicate by using your finger or your voice or whatever needed to identify something. Hank has been his wife for years. Cheating on, cheating at, cheating for, cheating in. It's not a very good verb in moral meaning, but the correct form is cheating on. And you know what is the meaning? If you don't, please try to look for it in a dictionary. I am not going to translate it into Spanish. I'm, I'm not going to translate the meaning of the verbs into Spanish in this class. The police chief could not solve the case, so he wanted to call off, call out, call away, call in. Or off means or finish or out. Call at has no meaning, call away also no meaning, and the answer is call in. The guard will my ID card to me. Okay, Han in this case is not a part of the body. Han is a verb that indicates something is given by someone. Okay, hand off does not have a meaning. Hand back means return. Hand for does not have a clear meaning and hand with doesn't also have a clear meaning. So the answer is hand back. The guard will hand my ID card back to me, to return it to me. Another example is, I am, and we need to choose from looking in, looking at, looking to, looking on. Her and telling her that I love her. Obviously, our answer is B, because that means that you are directing your eyes into hers and telling her that you love her. In number six, she is a meeting with Jimmy and his lawyer, setting up, setting on, setting to, setting for. Setting on, setting to, setting for will have no coherence in this case, and the answer is setting up. Do not worry about the broken window. I will get around at, get on at, get with to, no, get around to. Okay, uh, in this case, the answer is get around to, that means uh, in some time in the future it is going to be solved or somebody will have the time to solve it. That is the meaning of get around to. I will look on, no, look up, probably, look at, also probably, look to. But look at means just to see or watch, but look up has the meaning of search or investigate. 
The general will show me a satellite photo if I point out no way because I is the first person singular. Point out could be point in, no, point on, neither. So the answer is B. When I see Melanie, I always, I is in this case the simple form, run at, not really, run to is uh, to run in some direction, run over is to finish having something, or run with, to her and gave her a hug is another possibility. Run over to means um, to be uh, uh, appreciative, uh, caring, and to somebody. The clock is completely broken. I will try to take it away and fix it. Takes no. Takes no way and take it apart. That is the correct. Take it apart means that disintegrate it, not really disintegrate, but to um, take the pieces uh, apart. So that means uh, you go and using tools, you dismantle it into the original pieces. And the answer is take apart. Have you already pick it in, pick it off, pick it out? Pick it to. The correct answer is pick it out. I am looking for my keys everywhere, but I cannot figure it out. Figuring, okay, the spelling is incorrect. Figure out, probably because um, the model is followed by a simple form of the verb, a figure in where there are. The answer is C because it means um, re remember. I am looking for you at the party, but I cannot see you. Okay, that's a possibility. Looking at is also a, another possibility, but the, the coherence is not very correct, so it's not that correct. So we need to find another. Looking is bad spelled. Look for. Uh, is not correct because the verb to be is followed by an ing form of the verb, so the answer is A. In number 15, although he tries to eat less, he keeps, in this case, put on is the verb, but keep is followed by the ing form, so the option is B, putting on some weight. I keep running at Karen and her boy new uh, and her new boyfriend when I go shopping. I keep run to is not correct. I keep running into Karen and her new boyfriend when I go shopping is correct. So option C is the correct answer. In number 17, over a hundred people might show up is the correct answer answer. She thinks her plane will take off an hour late because of the fog. Take off is a synonym of uh, leave the land. In number 18 we have my son drives me crazy about buying a new bike. So he's always, probably he's always talking about it. I will finally give out, uh, a, uh, option A is not correct because it's, the will is duplicated, give in is possible, will give in is also incorrect, give out is also incorrect. So we have give in as the possibility. Eric is very sick at the moment, but I am sure he will. Pull to now, pull on, pull through is correct, but because that means uh, to recover, to heal. Okay, and we have 
Example 20, you should not talk down to him like that, you are not his boss. Talk at to, no, talk down at him. Talk down towers is also not correct. So our answer is A. I understand your opinion, but I have two. Go on with Linda on this question. Go along with, go along at, go along to. The answer is B because that is a very common expression in American English, particularly, but also in all, all the uh, types of English everywhere. I understand your opinion, but I have to go along with Linda on this question to support her, in other words. John tells me that he is not the verb to be is followed by an ing form, so we have two possibilities, B and D. Looking for or looking at. But uh, looking at is not quite coherent, so our answer is B. Search. <clears throat> 23. Can I get away the tram? No. No form. Get in? No. Get off? Get through? Get off? is the correct answer because, because it means leave. John tells me that he does not steal, but I do not fall at, fall in, fall for, fall on. His lies. The correct answer is fall for because that means uh, believe. Can I pay for, pay in, pay on, pay at the drinks with a credit card? Okay. The correct answer and very obvious is pay for. Okay, so we have done some exercises about uh, phrasal verbs. Thank you again and I hope we are going to meet next time.